With 262 beaches to choose from, the beautiful island of Mallorca caters for every possible taste. From the fun-filled shores of Magaluf to the oldie worldy Soyer seafront. Where you can arrive at the beach in style aboard a hundred-year-old tram. is now the home of adventure company owner Tracy Tomlin and partner Augusto. I have to reality check and sometimes even just going out on the excursions with the guides, taking that walk down to the coast here in venue is a reminder that you are in Spain, you know, if you actually leave the office you do have a good life. The season started with fewer bookings than usual but with July now upon them they've well and truly caught up. OK, OK, so the guy should be there any moment soon. I'm going to ring him and find out where he is. Right now, however, Tracy's facing a staffing nightmare. Two guides are resting for the day. Her business partner and top guide, Miguel, is away training in mainland Spain, and cliff-jumping instructor Juan Red has injured his leg. We're anticipating it could be ligaments, so it could be a few more weeks. Miguel is obviously not here, and now we're Juan Red out. So, in total, we're four members of staff down. Tracy should thank her lucky stars, though, as she nearly lost employee Jenka, too. Jenka the other day put multi-surface cleaner into the window washers. <laughs> then she decided to try and take it out with a tube like you would drain fuel out of a petrol tank, only she couldn't see it coming, so she actually ended up in hospital for the night because she drunk the multi-purpose cleaner. Now the car is clean, I'm clean. But, yeah, it's little things like this that keep you busy. Jenka might be fully recovered, but Tracy is still severely understaffed. The holiday season has started, and this means more big family bookings. So, today, there will be 10 people going out coast steering. With two guides, we can take up to 16. Um, but we try and keep it a little bit smaller, especially if we've got young children, because it's normally the younger children that are nervous and that have more fear about doing some of the jumps and things. With every experienced guide already out, cliff jumping expert Jose has been accompanied by intern Tabea. They'll be looking after today's large group, which includes the Muller family from Germany. Family bookings are a lucrative market, but they do have their challenges. We're doing some nice jumps. It's between like three and seven meters today because we have children here as well. It's pretty busy. Okay, we are ready? We go. Good luck, Tabea. The group heads to Cap de Falco, one of the company's most popular cliff jumping venues. Time to see who wants to jump first. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Janis. <laughs> who said the children make nervous cliff jumpers? Wow. <laughs> Nine-year-old Yanis makes the first jump look like child's play, and so does little brother Noah. <laughs> Although mum Claudia doesn't look quite so confident. I will come out. <laughs> but she can't back out after seeing the kids jump without any nerves. Mum. It seems the Muller family enjoys living life on the edge. Well, most of them anyway. No, I'm not so confident. <laughs> I, I'm uh, afraid of heights. Really. Guide Jose needs all his powers of persuasion to make Dad Gunter take a leap of faith. <laughs> Give me your hat. Yes. Couldn't we start a little bit smaller? Yes, of course. It's all in your mind, eh? Two, one, go! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Great work, guys. Uh, all is in his mind, no? All is in, in the mind. I tried so hard as I could. I jumped something. But after conquering the smaller cliff, the rest of the group now feel up to trying the seven-meter jump. Oh, yeah! Thanks, Karen. Oh, my God.
Well done. Most of the mullers are throwing themselves into the challenge. But next up, it's Gunter. How's he feeling about taking on a nerve-wracking seven-metre jump? Yes, go. <laughs> I have to try, as long as uh, the small ones do. You are brave. But who are you fishing? Okay. Now. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Afraid. As always. Well, Jose's skills of persuasion aren't working. Will son Janis have better luck? Papa, the trick is, einfach mach den Augen zu und rein. Ja. ja. Inspired by a pep talk from his nine-year-old son. <laughs> Result! Ole! He overcame himself. And that's in the end, that's the challenge, and he made it. It's good, I think everyone had fun. Yet another successful excursion for Tracy's guides. Despite the chronic shortage of staff, it seems like the company might have sailed through this rough patch. Yeah. <laughs> It's the beginning of August, and in Mallorca, there's good news for adventure company owner Tracy. Business partner and head guide Miguel's finally come back from his caving course and is organising the office at the start of another busy day of excursions. He's uh, been roped in today to get the stuff done. After a tough fortnight spent sleeping rough in a cave, Miguel was hoping to get some time off. But with the business booming, Tracy can't afford to let him. The perfection, she wants 100%. I mean, 99 is not good. Unfortunately, Miguel's brain's not quite rewired the same as mine. With all the guides on their way by 9 o'clock, it's been a good start to the morning. Or has it? What's happened? Antonio... No, because you're like, you're all over the place. Uh, Antonio crashed the car. Right. So where are the clients? In the car? And they're okay? Yeah. And the car is drivable? Yeah. Oops. Whilst picking up clients for a cliff jumping trip, one of the guides has been involved in an accident. He's reversed into somebody, I think. Um, but given that we already had one van crashed last week with Oscar, um, this is the second one in a week. So stress is Augusto big time. Um, and obviously, it's not a very good image for the clients, and it's not a great way to start the day. How bad is it? He says it's a scratch, but they always say it's a scratch. And this isn't the only transport problem they've had. This vehicle was crashed last week. He said he had only done a scratch to the car. Uh, then I came and I found this. He not only was a scratch, everything is moved inside. We took it to the mechanic, it's going to cost 800 euros. And I found where he doesn't know that he did it, and he did it against that because you can still find some uh, leftovers from the car right here. Uh, you see? Another big impact on this kind of crash is that the van is going to be out of the road for a few days. And that means that we have one car less taking clients and that is money that we lose every day. Tracy, Augusto and Miguel are up against it once again. With more unexpected expenses coming their way, Will they be able to make the most of this summer season? In Mallorca... We have a big group of multimillionaires that uh, have booked for a team-building event. A dangerous new excursion for Tracy and her boys. It scares me because they've probably got quite a good lawyer base behind them if they have an accident. And in France... I'm trying to explain to her I didn't want one mass order. Paul and Lisa are feeling the heat. Bloody management accountant, not a lackey in a kitchen. 